Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Zaki. Come here, Peg. Hey, you guys, for another episode on Pokemon. So, this is episode 7, and where we left off, we actually defeated B, who is the fighting type gym leader. And uh, as you can see, Drizzle and Toxel evolved. So, I'm pretty hyped that's that's happened. Uh, now, what we're going to go and do is we are going to be going up here because uh, um, there was some sort of something that happened up here. So, let's talk to Sonya real quick. What's going on up there? Oh, we need to go check. Okay. Got a max of five. That's good. Alright, let's go. Destroy it. Destroy it all. We're going to find those wishing stars. Rush. Is that the other? That actually looks like an all like Pokemon. Uh, we've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. Yeah, I like that Pokemon, Copperajo. If you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for his chance to help him find wishing stars. Looks like BD's up to no good. BD, stop it. <laughs> oh my, you again? So you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get um, in the chairman's favour? Uh, that's, the, uh, that's the way of things, is it? I see, so you do have some cunning in you. But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. Ooh. Uh, another battle with BD. Okay. Oh. It's been a while since we've had our last battle. I believe he's got a new... Oh, no, he's not got a new Pokemon. Oh, he's a thingy evolved, though. Cinderace. <laughs> Let's just, like, one-shot Cinderace. Or not Cinderace. Uh, this thing with a pyro ball. Just to show BD how strong we've gotten. <laughs> yeah, boy. And you're dead. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. <laughs> I've already seen more than enough to judge you. Okay. This speed too fast. It, it's that. What I don't like about that is I can't press A. Like, it just does it automatically. And you expect that you can uh, read really fast. Oh, this has evolved as well. You know what? With Switch, because I want to use Inte uh, Inteleon. Uh, and use the snipe shot on it. Because uh, I've not used that move yet. And I think it's a signature move. Find Helion like Pyro Ball is a signature move for the um or oh, the most powerful move. I don't know if it's a signature move. Uh, the most powerful move is Pyro Ball for the Cinderace. I like uh, the animation for it as well. That looks pretty sick. Psybeam. Okay, we can take a Psybeam, can't we? Yeah, that's the spirit. Another another sniper shot. Hey. Are we going to two shot it? There we go. Yeah, it's alright dude, to be fair. I wish we could have had this Pokemon when we, uh, are this move. Yeah, I and the Pokemon. Wish we could have had them both when thingy. Uh, Hatchrim. We'll switch back to Cinderace for this one. Yeah, but I wish we could have had this Pokemon at the fire gym. We would have wrecked everyone. <laughs> Pretty sure we would have one shot all of the, uh, Cadbury's Pokemon. Hat, them. Oh, Hatchrim. Yeah, that's an alright Pokemon. I wonder where you get it. Let's use a Flame Charge. Not Flame Charge, a Pyro Ball. Yes! Bomb! <laughs> there we go. Well shot in it. But Pyro Ball is just way too powerful. Nothing's leveled up, unfortunately. Ponita. Now we'll keep our current Pokemon. Hey, I have to win this for the Chairman. Do you really think I'd let you. Okay, for God's sake. <laughs> Ponita, out oh, you come, ah shit, oh, no, he's not got one more Pokemon. Uh, Pyro Ball just to get it out of the way. <laughs> one, two, and yeah, yes! <laughs> no, it's just too powerful. I can see why it's only got five dudes. Does it, is peeping up in this game where you can, uh, the power or whatever, the moves? Can you? Use a PP up on the Pyro Ball and make it 10 or something. This has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. I mean, I, I'm I'm happy to beat you again. But why? How can this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I'm just better than you, BD. Uh, I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was def uh, to defeat the champion. I'm the one of the elite. Um, someone who can shoulder the future of the Gala region. Challenger BD! Oh! They're all here now. 
I wondered what you were up to when you asked uh, to borrow Chairman Rose's uh, Copperage. I can't believe you tried to use the Chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of a Pokemon simple beam or something? How could you expect to support the Chairman with that sort of thinking? Young BD It pains me to have to say this but I am truly disappointed. It's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you, you reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a Pokemon or a trainer's school to give you a chance at success. But trying to destroy the mural part of Galar's history. You show no love towards Galar. You are clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. Oh, has he been disqualified? We will decide what to, to do with you later. For now, we will uh, you will return to Hammerlock. Oh no, this isn't good. Look at his face. You, you must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me for from the gym challenge? But you're the one who endorsed me. <laughs> there are a hundred different ways uh, we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Challenger BD, I will be taking those wishing stars that you have gathered. Oh, poor BD, man. Like, I don't like his personality or anything, but I didn't want him to get kicked out. <laughs> ah, Sonya, and Zachary too. Terrible shame all this, an absolute disaster. I never, I never wish to see us lose challenges for this sort of reason. Yet we do what must be done, uh, or we do what we must to do, uh, we must do to keep things fair and um, sportsmanlike. Indeed. I feel kind of bad for Beanie though. I won't be able to whoop his butt in, <laughs> in the. Uh, uh, Champions Cup or whatever. Uh, you know, during one of BD's matches, I heard the uh, announcer say that BD has no family. Apparently, it was Rose who uh, took BD under his wing, uh, and so BD was battling for the chairman's sake. Yeah, I did read about that actually on his leak card the other day. Um, what an awful turn of events. I hope the mural survived all that. Oh, she's jinxed it. <laughs> Whoa! Zassian and Zemizenta. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, she's getting a memory back. <laughs> what she discovered now. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> a new discovery. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins uh, were brought into the light of us to see. What does this tell you, uh, you us about Galar's legends? A Pokemon? A certain shield? Pokemon. <coughs> Sorry about that. Right, more than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. <clears throat> Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield and as if they were uh, using them. Anything else look interesting to you? The, uh, the, the hero was actually two people, uh, the same as the tapestries. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. <clears throat> oh, good observation. There really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only... Uh, the one statue at the Badu drop-in. Because they're hiding something, surely. More than any statue of a hero or old tapestry, uh, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means, the sword is a Pokemon, the shield is a Pokemon. Yup, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with uh, two actual Pokemon and treat it uh, as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history. Two young heroes, the Sword and Shield, uh, were actually Pokemon. But why would the truth of these ruins be hidden when their stories were uh, depicted in artwork? Who knows? 
With your help, I really feel like we made uh, we made a big discovery here. Thanks. I'll give you a couple of these so you uh, keep it going or keep it your best. Uh, and then gym challenge too. Okay. Okay. Uh, guess you'll be headed to Ballon Lee next, right? I don't know. <laughs> Will I? Okay. I've got a discover. Well, I've not discovered. I've got a theory. So. So these were hidden, and these disappeared or something, as Sonya was saying. My theory is that the right. So the slumbering world, that's off limits, isn't it? We saw Zacian there, but it was an illusion. Maybe them two Pokemon are living in the slumbering world, uh, but they don't want any uh, for a really long nap, and they don't want anyone to visit. So whenever someone visits, they scare them away. That's my theory, and I, I'm, it's pretty cool to be fair, thinking of that, but I know that it's been a short episode, but I'm probably going to end it here, because there weren't that much uh, to do in this episode. Uh, we're going to be going to that town in the next episode, so I hope you guys did enjoy, if you did make sure you hit that like button down below. Also, uh, comment and subscribe, especially subscribe, because I am going to be doing a giveaway at 300 subscribers, and I will also be uploading the video when we hit 300 subscribers. Now, um, don't forget as well to follow my Twitter and join my Discord server, because I am active on both of those a lot, uh, and I also notify people uh, when a video is out on both of them, so... If you want to join the Discord server, you can. If you want to join, uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you also can. But um, if you join my Discord server as well, I'm there active every day, so you can have a mini chat with me as well. But yeah, anyways, I will see you guys in the next video.